Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Um, there's a story in the book of Maulana Rumi, one of the America's favorite poets, uh, who is a Gnostic, Muslim saint. He mentions a story about a, a prayer man, a man who used to always pray. He says, On yaki Allah mi gufti shabi, takashirin mi shoda zikrash labi. This man used to call upon God all the time. He would call upon God in the morning, in the evening, when he was sick, when he was happy, when he was prosperous. Every occasion, he would call upon God to the degree that his mouth would always be moist and sweet from the remembrance of God. So what happened one day? So Satan comes to him one day and he says, oh, Aren't you the prayer man who call upon God all the time? I've heard you call upon him millions of times. Have you ever heard an answer from him? What is wrong with you? You call upon him when you're sick. I've seen you call upon him in the middle of the night. You call upon him when you're happy. You call upon him when you're tired, exhausted from work. What is wrong with you? I'm telling you, he will not answer you. God is sitting in the seventh heaven on his throne. You think he has time for you to answer your call? Ruby says, Satan broke the man's heart. And he's good at that. That is his area of expertise. He breaks people's hearts. He said, the man stopped calling upon God. Time passes by and one day he falls asleep. And he hears the voice of God in his dream. And he says, He said, what happened? Weren't you the man who used to remember us all the time? Do you regret calling upon us? Why did you stop calling? He said, you never answered me. I never heard an answer. I called you millions of times. Not even one time you could have answered me. I'm afraid I'm amongst the rejected one and you don't care about me. And then God responds. He says, Go on Allah to la baker most. He said, Your calling was the answer. Your calling, that was the answer. One knee also that the Suzat Pekamos. And remember those times you used to call upon us when you were sick with that trembling voice? That was the melody of the seven heavens. All of the angels used to gather to listen to your calling. Remember those times you used to sin and disobey us? And then you used to come up with an excuse and say, oh God, forgive me. Who do you think put that excuse in your heart? It was us. We put the excuse in your heart because of your calling. I swear to you on my dignity, on my servant, that when you, your fear, when you had fear, we put that in your heart so you don't disobey us. When you loved us and you did all these amazing things, we put that in your heart. And I swear to you, every time you called for every single call of yours, I had a million answers hidden inside of that call. Satan was telling him that you have called him a million times. You haven't answered you. God is telling him for every calling, I had a million answers for you. This is how God works. This is how God works. Our job is to pray. We shouldn't occupy ourselves whether he hears it or not. Because God hears even the most subtlest of the sun. We pray. We end with a prayer. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Dear Lord, we ask you to give us hearts that are filled with your light and compassion towards your creation. We ask you to give us eyes that can see the beauty in your creation. We ask you to give us tongue that speaks that which is beautiful or remains in silence. We ask you to give us ears that listens to the truth. We ask you to give us hands that helps those who are fallen. We ask you to make us beacons of light 
and we become guides and not obstacles. Dear God, we ask you to bring peace to the regions of this planet that are suffering with wars and destruction. As our tradition states, you're not a true believer until you want for your brothers and sisters in humanity what you want for yourself. We ask you to give us strength to practice these ideals. And, and we ask you to remove this pandemic from every nation and make, make this a means that we realize that there's no power or strength except that which comes from you. And there's nothing worthy of worship except you. Amen.